I think for the first time, I disagree with Luke from the Outdoor Gear Review. So this is the One Tigress Obsidian. This is an insulated sleeping mat. It's got like seven different layers inside of it with mylar and whatnot. And it's to reflect your heat back up to you. And Luke on the Outdoor Gear Review, bless him. I love him. I love the channel. So shout out to Luke here. But he had so much promise for this. And then he did a final review and he ended up not liking it. And I really think that he just got a bad one. This thing has been great. I, I bought it and I was really leery. I thought maybe I should return this. And then I actually took it out and I enjoy it. Now I have not taken it out in cold, cold weather. I've only been in the fifties with this in the summer, uh, here in Michigan. And I slept with just a surplus poncho liner and I was more than comfortable on this thing. It's not too loud. It's a little crackly, but overall it's not loud like a bag of chips if you have it fully inflated. So I'm wondering also if that might've been the issue. I wonder if he got his 95% inflated or something. If mine is not 100% inflated, this thing's pretty loud. And then I see where his problems arise. But as far as sleeping on my side on this, no problem. I don't, I don't touch the ground at all. I'm warm. I feel the heat radiating back up to me. Also, if this thing is not 100% full as well, you're then crushing into the insulation and it's not doing its job. You don't have that air gap in between. So that's what I'm wondering if the issue was. But let me just sit on this thing. If you sit just with your butt here, yes, it touches the ground. But as soon as your weight is dispersed, I am fully off of the ground here very comfortable i've actually slept on this in the house several times not even outdoors and i just it's very very comfortable if i sleep on my side nothing is touching the ground absolutely nothing my hips are above the ground i can't even move them down to hit the ground my shoulder is above the ground everything feels good it's maybe just a little louder than like the climate static five, which I have over there. You can see in the background overall though, this thing has been great. If I lay on it for more than a minute or two, I can feel my body heat coming back at me and it's almost too warm. I was tempted to take this off several times in the middle of the night because it just, it just got pretty hot. So I have high hopes for it in the winter. I will test it out in that um, type of temperature, but overall, if you're looking into get, getting one of these, I don't want you to be scared by the one review. Granted, Luke is definitely someone to listen to when it comes to this gear. He does a very good of unbiased testing. I, I very much appreciate that. I just disagree with him on this one. And I'm wondering either was it a defective product or was it not 100% inflated? Now to inflate this, I don't use my breath. I use the Flextail Zero. Am I fully happy with this thing? No. Um, it gets the job on the one tigress. It gets it about, I would say 90% inflated. And, um, what I have to do is use the bag that comes with the obsidian to fill it up for the final one to two bagfuls to get it in there. But this will get it to where, yes, you can sleep on it, but it's, you're going to be crushing that insulation. You're not going to be able to sleep on your side or whatnot. So make sure to have the bag with you. Even if you carry this, this will do 90% of the work for you switch to this and you can do two bag fulls instead of 15, 20, whatever it takes to fill it up with the bag. You just don't want to breathe in this, of course, to get your condensation in there and have that cool off in the middle of the night and make it cold. That defeats the purpose of this bag. So anyways, that has worked out well. Um, like usual, like Luke showed, it comes with two compression straps, comes with a patch kit, it comes with the bag to inflate it, and it comes with a stuff sack. Other than that, everything has been great so far with this. If you were on the fence about getting it, or if, if you were disappointed, just know that, especially if you read the comments, a lot of people have been very pleased with this. I've been very pleased with this so far. I have, I need to test it out in cold weather, but other than that, it is a very good mat. I prefer it, you know, 10 times over the climate five. That thing is not insulated. It's a great little summer pad, but you can't sleep on your side on that thing. This thing you, you certainly can, or at least I can, I, I am 5'11", I weigh 180 pounds and I am totally fine on this sleeping mat. So anyways, hope that helps you in making a decision and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.